What is good everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at some unreleased sneakers that are set to come out here in the future. We decided to go ahead and go to some stores and try to see if we could find some of the sneakers that are coming out in the recent months. Now we haven't been showing too many unreleased sneakers lately because it's been harder and harder to find stuff that's good and that we just kind of want to share with you guys. So we found a couple good pairs at some stores here locally that we're going to be showing you today. I'm very excited because we're showing you stuff that's out. Now, this is stuff that's really tell you guys if it's worth buying, should you pay resale, what you should pay on them. If I like them, let's go ahead, see what we got. All right, guys, we just got over to Inman Park here in Atlanta. We are going to Good Times ATL because we are hunting for some early pairs of sneakers. It's been a while since we bought early shoes, and so I wanted to see what stores in Atlanta have them. Apparently, they have some here, and they also have a request ATL, so we're gonna be trying for some here. Hope we can get a few. I think they have at least three, and so we wanna show you guys what's coming out, what's hot, if it's worth for you guys to buy. So let's get over and head to Good Times right now. First pair up is going to be a Jordan 5. You can't tell by the box, and if you can't tell by the color of the box, this is the Jordan 5 Green Bean. Now, these are set to come out in June of 2022, so about a month or two from now. Good Times had a couple pair of these, and I picked them up in a size 11, which is mine. They had them at 460. Now, the pricing on this stuff, this is early pricing. Usually, it's a little more expensive, but that's because you're paying to get it early, essentially. Obviously, that's the point. You're not going to pay what the, re you don't know what the resale price is going to be yet on a shoe, so you're paying a bit of a premium. If you check out the box, you have a silver Jordan 5 box, the green there, which is pretty cool. And then uh, we'll open this up and see the Jordan 5 green beans. Now, a cool feature of these is that the whole shoe is a reflective material. Now, I don't have to tell you again that I'm not a big five person, but this pair right here is a pretty cool colorway. Is it one that I particularly am gonna go after? I'm not sure. I think the reflective is cool if you guys can kind of see it on camera. We'll do a shot showing you guys that. You have kind of the translucent blue outsole and then uh, just gray and green. I think it's a good colorway, not my favorite, but I think it's just a good colorway in general. I think these resale wise are probably, let's see what retail is. Retail will probably be around 220 if I had to guess. 200 and I think it's a probably go for like 30 bucks over retail. That's my thoughts on it But uh full reflective shoe pretty cool. Just nothing that makes me want to be like, you know I need these pretty cool materials all reflective. I, th I don't think it's bad Let me see if I can show you actually with the uh, the light. Let's see. Does it do anything for a camera Nick? Slightly slightly. It's hard to tell but it is all reflective. You can see it just by kind of like glancing at it. We'll show you in some of the people. All right, the next shoe up is a Yeezy. This is gonna be a Yeezy Foam Runner. Now, this shoe may come out, I don't. I have to figure out when this video is coming out that you guys are watching. If it comes out the day after we post it, we should be good, But uh, or the day after we film it. This is a size 11 in the Yeezy Foam Runner Sulfur. So this is a brand new colorway. Gonna be very similar to a lot of the other ones, but the Sulfur is gonna be that more yellowish colorway. And nothing really crazy stands out about this shoe besides it. I mean, it's just kind of similar colorways. So these ones were at 450. The foam runners are going for what, like 350-ish, Nick? Do you know? I'm not sure on the foam runners. I yeah. know the slides are like anywhere from 150 to 300 though. Yeah, They're, the prices on that are all over. I see a ton more people wearing these than I thought. Would you agree, Nick? Yeah, all the time. I, I ne did not think I'd see that many people wearing these, but these are actually my size, so I will throw these on. I'll probably throw those on too for a shot, but they're kind of weird. Like I've put these on before, but they just feel weird. I would wear these at like the beach. I don't think I'd wear them outside of that. Like, I don't know. I just feel like my feet are too exposed. They're gonna get like chopped off. By I don't know. I don't wear the I don't wear the uh, slides a lot either, just because how my feet are they're a little wide. They kind of hurt my feet wearing them, so I don't. But I do have a couple pairs of the orange ones, my favorite color. So these are set to come out April 16th. So I think. I mean, we paid 450. I think these will probably go for like 300, 350 at release at stores. If I had to guess, I don't know what they're going for now. I could look, but 
If it's anything crazy, I'll, I'll, I'll pop it in. All right, guys, I'm hopping in here to announce a brand new giveaway of a personal pair of mine that I got for retail off of Supreme of the Supreme Nike SB Dunk High in the Brazil colorway right here. One of my favorites. I decided to give my size 11 away to you guys just because I thought this would be a really good giveaway. The rules are very simple. You have to, one, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Number two, follow me, Harrison Neville, on Instagram. Number three, comment on the Instagram post that is on the screen. The link will be in the description down below and tag two friends in the comments, and that is it. I'll be picking the winner in three weeks' time over on my Instagram stories last giveaway we did the hat and bread jordan ones and the winner got those and loves them so go ahead and enter to win these comment on that photo let's go all right so the next one is going to be a dunk so this is a really cool shoe that i saw in store that i didn't realize was unreleased now this is going to be a jackie robinson nike dunk so this shoe is for jackie robinson in the 75th anniversary of him starting for the dodgers back in it was april 15th 1947 i believe so this is gonna be the shoe that is kind of homage to that, which is really cool. So as you can tell, different hits of the shoe. On the tongue, we have 75 years, which is great. It says breaking barriers. You have a lace that is like baseball stitching, like a blue stitching there, which is really cool. Now, before we go any farther, talking about the Dodgers. I'm a Braves fan. Freddie Freeman went to the Dodgers. Not happy. <laughs> Not happy about it. I want to get that out of the way. You guys know I'm a Braves fan. I'm a Ravens fan, a Braves fan, I know it's weird. Born in Atlanta, family's from Maryland. It's just kind of how things went. But here we go, the sneaker. It's got a lot of writing all around it. It says, it says, I'm not concerned with your liking or disliking me. All I ask is that you respect me as a human being on the insoles and whatnot. I think that's a really cool message. I think this is a really cool sneaker in general. I actually really like that blue. And I love when Nike puts a check on the toe. I know, Nick, you like that as well. I think it's a nice little hint, or am I wrong? You know, like No, that. that's definitely fresh. Yeah, it's a really good hint. There's another pair that's out that's like a navy, midnight navy one that's really good like that as well. I'm kind of sad these weren't in my size, but on these we paid $600. The lowest ask on SockX right now is $680 for a pair of these. So we're winning on that. I think this will be a pair that goes for about $450 to $600. Am I going to get these? I'm going to attempt to. I'll pay, probably pay up to $500. I already got them, but I paid 600. But it, I, I would trade these for my size straight up and wear them. I think it's a cool shoe, even though it's with, you know, representation of the Dodgers. I guess you could say it's a blue for the, the Braves. I don't know. But uh, size nine and a half, these were at 600. Really cool shoe, and uh, I'm glad that we picked these up. Next up is going to be a Stussy sneaker, a Stussy Nike. This is another one that we saw. They actually didn't have these out. They said we got these in the bag. They just got them in today. 400 bucks, a Stussy Air Force One mid. I didn't know if you guys would care to see these because they're pretty simple, but check these out. This is a black Air Force One mid, but it has a white midsole to kind of break it up so it's not just an all black Air Force One. You have a Stussy logo on the back, which is like a crazy little bedazzled. You have the Stussy on the tongue, and the materials for this I would describe are a super thick leather. There also is like an inscription of an S on the toe box, which is kind of like cut out. This looks like the Civilist Dunk material, but it's not. It's just like a super thick leather. So let me look up release details because I actually didn't look that up. So I'm not seeing any of the release info as far as date. Um, sometime in the spring it's saying, so this is pretty early, but this is for the 40th anniversary of the Air Force One. The leather on here smells like a super fine leather that you would find at like a high-end luxury store, like a Louis Vuitton or like whatever, like a super high-end leather. It smells like super fine Italian leather. So I actually like that. So good quality materials. You have the nice stussy hit there and uh, it's kind of like an alligator snake skin, whatever there. And uh, I don't know, I'm not a big mid person. These are my size, so I will throw these on to show you guys. And then uh, you guys need to let me know what you think about me wearing these if I look good or not. So the fifth pair up from Good Times, as you can see, is a white box. This is a women's Air Jordan 3. Now we have been a women's 12, which is a men's 10 and a half. They had these at 650, and I think it's because they intend, or they think these are gonna be really hot, and I think at that store at Good Times, they'll do really well selling these. So this is kind of just like another sneaker, if you can't tell. Before I show you this, tell me this isn't a Jordan 1 Mocha. Take this away, Neapolitan, like the Stussy Dunks from back in the day. This is a clean shoe. I don't know, I really like these. 600 bucks is steep, but you have the pink hits, you have the nice white leather, the very similar to the mocha brown there, and uh, I think this is gonna be a good hot shoe. So this colorway is going to be called the Atmosphere, and a lot of people call them the Atmosphere Mocha. These are set to release on May 15th, and retail will be around $200. I believe these will be a $400 shoe easily, and uh, this is definitely one that 
I'm, I think I should be able to wear these. It's 10 half and threes, I think I should be able to do it. I'm gonna keep these if they fit, and I'm gonna wear these, because I really, really like these. Even though they'll probably drop a little bit when they come out, I think these are solid. I, this is my favorite pair out of all of them, so I'm definitely putting these on, and gonna see how I look in them, because I hope they fit. These are super comfortable. After I just put them on, the materials are really good and the tongue is really padded, that they're very comfortable. They're a little tight on me, but I'm probably gonna try to make it work because I really like this colorway. All right, we got another pair, an SB. This is pair number six. This is a pair that I think was supposed to come out in like January, but ended up not coming out. I just tried to look up the release date and everything, and it doesn't have a set release date. It's kind of just like in the next few weeks. But uh, photos and stuff released in January. So this is the Nike SB Low Brown Paisley. We saw these on the uh, wall, and Nick actually pointed them out and said these hadn't come out yet. And uh, this is a really, really good shoe. If this was my size, I would 1 million percent wear these. I just really like the browns. That's one of my favorites. But a cool thing about these is it is a tearaway material. So if you tear away right here on the toe box, right here on kind of like the back part, whatever you'd call this flap here, it becomes like a tan nubuck material, like a really cool material. So this is a great one. These were 350, so pretty good for an early pair. I think you can get them on StockX for like 250 right now. So. I think these probably like released but didn't release. I'm not sure what happened, but 350 bucks is not bad at all. And if uh, I had the chance to buy these for 350 in my size, I would, but I haven't been able to find them yet. So these are really going, really like these. And I think that is gonna wrap it up for all of our unreleased pairs. Again, we haven't been doing as much unreleased stuff just because it's harder to find pairs at stores and whatnot, but we found some stores, had some pairs. So if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like down below. Do not forget to enter that giveaway for the Nike SB Dunk High in the Brazil Colorway Supreme. Brazil colorway and I'll see you guys next time this is Harrison signing out